Hi, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Latin pages. One of the projects that Design Studio is working on is called Prospure. It's a startup in the HR space that uses AI to make hiring faster and more efficient. I can stare at you for a hundred years and I never blink an eye. You were beautiful, just like a flower. I could walk with you for a million miles and my feet would not get tired. We just finished the identity design and now we're starting work on the Latin page. I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a tutorial covering the basics of what landing pages are, why they're important, and how you can draft effective ones that successfully convert visitors into customers. So what exactly are landing pages? Landing pages are standalone web pages designed specifically to convert visitors into leads or customers. It's where a visitor lands after they click on an ad or a search result. Unlike a website's homepage or other web pages, landing pages are focused on one single goal with a clear call to action. Landing pages is a critical component of any online marketing strategy and understanding how to create and optimize them is essential to achieving your business goals. Now that we've established what a landing page is, let's talk about how you can create one easily and effectively without any coding. For that, we'll use this online design tool called ReadyMac which is also the kind sponsor of this video. And it's completely free to get started, no credit card or any of that stuff is needed. It's quite different from most of the no-code website builders. And as a result, the designs made on ReadyMac feel very fresh and unique. I want to go through some examples and templates on ReadyMac to show you the possibilities and potential of this tool. Let's open up ReadyMag and create a new project. On the bottom left, we have pages, devices, layers, and widgets. And on the bottom right, we have modes, grids, settings, help, and preview. First, we'll prepare the canvas by going into the grid and layout option and turning the scale layout. This ensures that the layout is adapted to the screen. I'll set the grid to 8 and make the gaps 0. Then I'll drag this little diamond icon from the bottom to set the height to somewhere around 540, 560. Now we're ready to start painting. In the layers menu, I'll change the background from white to a gradient image. You can also choose to have a slideshow or a video as a background. Next, let's add the headline text by going into the widgets option. The headline is the most important part of your landing page as it clearly states the value you're providing. A well-crafted headline should capture the visitor's attention and compel them to keep reading the page. With the text layer selected, I'll go into edit and then typography and change the font to macro and adjust the weight and size to my liking. Oh my God, if forever is not enough. Oh my God, what a time to be in love. You can also add a subheader if you like. A subheadline is a secondary headline that supports the main headline and provides additional information. To write a good subheadline, consider expanding the main headline and providing more context. Now, let's talk about the call to action. The CTA is the action that you want your visitors to take, whether it's signing up, registering for a newsletter, or exploring your app. It's important to have only one call to action throughout your page so as to not confuse your visitor. To add the CTA, we'll use a button from the widgets panel and adjust the shape and color to match a brand style. Also, don't forget to play around with the hover property. Let's preview it and it's looking good so far. A visitor may still be hesitant to click on the button even after reading the headline. So, a common practice to maximize conversion is to add social proof right under your call to action. When a potential customer sees that others have had a positive experience with a product or service, it creates a sense of trust and credibility. By providing social proof on a landing page, a visitor may feel more confident and reassured that they're making the right decision by engaging with the product. Social proof can take many forms such as customer testimonials, reviews, ratings, or even endorsements from well-known personalities. In our case, it's the list of companies that have hired through us. I'll go ahead and add all the images on my page and arrange them in a horizontal layout. Now, let's go ahead and animate this section. I want the strip to be moving in an infinite loop. For that, we'll group all the images together and copy them to create a duplicate which we'll attach at the end of the strip. And group these two again to create a longer strip of logos. With the layer selected, I'll go into the animate option. We have a couple of options for when we want the animation to start. I want it to start as soon as the page loads and the effect will be move. It starts from zero and ends right where the first strip ends. And after that, I want it to do. For that, I'll turn on the cycle option. 
adjust the duration to 12 seconds and preview. One last thing before I move on to the next section is making sure that our landing page is responsive for mobile. For that, I'll go into my devices option on the bottom left and go into mobile view. Now, there are two ways to do it. You can either click on single column to have the widgets automatically resized and stacked using auto layout or manually arrange the layout if you want the mobile version to be more customized and different from the desktop one. Now that we have a hero section ready, let's move on to the next section which will highlight some of our benefits and features. Features and benefits are two different aspects of marketing that are often used to describe the product or service. While they are related, they serve different purposes and convey different information. Features refer to the functionalities and provide factual information about the product. On the other hand, benefits are positive experiences that customers gain from using a product or service. Benefits focus on how the features solve a problem or provide value to a customer. You can either have two different sections for benefits and features or even combine them in one slide itself. Let's start by adding a new page from the pages option in the bottom left corner. I'll change the grid to 9, set the page height to 540 and change the background color to black. Next, I'll add a text widget from the widgets panel, align it to the center and adjust its placement. Now let's go back to the widgets panel and explore some of its presets for animated widgets. You'll find a lot of pre-made animations that you can implement to enhance your website. I'll choose this animated button and adjust its size and text accordingly. I've gone ahead and added three headers for the features and align them to the grid. Now I want to add some visual elements to this section and for that I've downloaded some 3D icons. I'll use a photo widget to place them on my page. After selecting all the three icons, I'll resize them uniformly and position them above the header text. Finally, I'll add a description to these features that highlights the benefits. I forgot to mention it earlier but you can add any link to the button from the options on the right. Another crucial element of a landing page that helps convert visitors into customers is your testimonial page. This again helps add a lot of credibility to the product or service you're providing. For this section, I'll create a new page and use a slideshow preset from the widgets panel. I can customize almost anything from the options on the right. I'll modify the transition option to crossfade, set it to play on click and adjust the duration to 0.5 seconds. The next step is to replace the existing photos with our testimonials. For this, I'll quickly switch to Figma, design some frames and incorporate them into the slideshow. In the first section, we'll discuss the payment details. This section again is probably the most important part of your landing page. To provide a seamless purchase experience, it's crucial to avoid any unnecessary details and maintain a clear and concise design. The goal is to eliminate any distraction and you should have only one call to action that explicitly guides users to complete the purchase. I'll create a new page and set the background to a gradient image and then create a shape from the widgets panel. On the right, you have some options to customize the shape. I'm just playing around with the grid and making sure it can accommodate the bullet points and CT inside the card.
So I've added a button, a header and some bullet points inside the payment card. And I also used a photo widget to add these check icons. Now I want to add a hover animation to this card. For this, I'll select all the contents and group them together. And then head into the animation option. Set the trigger to hover and add a scale in effect. Just a certain scale up by 2 points and duration about 0.2 seconds. This is a quick example to show you how to work with animations in ReadyMac. But you can create much complex animations like these without having the need to code even a single line. You can check out more tutorials like creating a hamburger menu, horizontal scroll or creating auto layouts for mobile on their launch page. I'll just duplicate this card two more times to create the other two payment plans. Possibilities with ReadyMag are endless, so I highly recommend you guys to check it out. Like any other tool, there is a learning curve to it, but it's quite easy to get a hang of it. It's completely free to get started, so do give it a try. And if you want to publish your website, you can use my referral link in the description to get a sweet special discount on your first purchase. Alright, I've saved the best for last, the Shots feature in ReadyMag. This feature allows you to create amazing on-school video animations similar to what Apple uses on its website. To get started, select Shots from the Widgets menu and upload a video or PNG sequence. Once uploaded, adjust the playback settings to scroll and enable easing. I'll resize the widget to fit the screen and extend the section to 1000. To make sure it remains visible on the screen, I'll set its position to fixed and add some final text and CT over it. Finally, let's add a footer. Go to the presets and select the boxy footer. Make sure to turn off on all pages and instead of sticking it at the edge of the page, I'll fix it to the end of the screen. Before you publish, go to preview and select the option to stack them vertically. And that's pretty much it. There are a lot more features you can explore such as adding music, integrating Google Maps or even using custom code to take your landing page to the next level. Once you master this tool, you'll be able to create amazing landing pages on your browser in just a few hours.